Hi there. Today, we're going to talk about random variables and how they help us make sense of uncertainty. Have you ever wondered how we can predict outcomes like the weather, stock market trends, or even a simple game of dice? Well, the key lies in a concept called random variables. Understanding them is essential for modeling and analyzing uncertainty in the world around us. Whether we are tackling statistics, physics, or machine learning, random variables are everywhere. So what exactly are they? Let's dive in. Random variables help us quantify randomness and make predictions. What it does is assign a number to each outcome of a random process. Imagine rolling a dice. While the result is random, assigning numbers 1 to 6 to each face of the dice lets us analyze the probabilities of each outcome. Random variables connect the chaos of randomness to mathematical structure, which is why they are so important. A random variable isn't quite a variable in the usual sense. It's actually a function. In basic mathematics, we have a variable like x and a function that transforms it such as f of x is equal to x squared. Similarly, in the context of random variables, the variable small letter x refers to an outcome or event, while the random variable is the function capital letter x that maps this outcome to a numerical value, which usually represents something of interest. So the final equation is read as the probability of the random variable capital letter x taking on a certain value related to the outcome, small letter x, from a possible set of outcomes. A discrete random variable is something that can take on a countable number of values. So let x represent the total when you roll two fair dice. The smallest possible value x can take on is two. The only combination that can give you that is if you roll a 1 and a 1 at the same time. So x, the random variable, is equal to 1 plus 1. The probability of getting that combination is 1 over 36. The sample space is 36 because all possible outcomes you have is 6 for the first dice and 6 for the second, and then 6 times 6 is 36. For x equal to 3, we have probability 2 over 36. It's 2 because there's only two possible rolls that can give you a sum of 3. That's if you roll a 1 and a 2 or a 2 and a 1. We can then calculate the probability for the remaining values of x. The maximum value x can take on is 12 because the maximum we could ever roll is a 6 and a 6. If we then sum the probabilities for all the possible outcomes, we should get 1, which makes sense because if we roll a pair of dice, we are guaranteed that x will only take on a value between 2 and 12. So random variables are like translators. They take random processes and express them in a language that we can study. By learning about them, we'll be able to unlock powerful tools to make predictions, analyze data, and understand uncertainty. In the upcoming videos in this series, we're going to look at binomial and Poisson random variables, followed by different types of continuous random variables, like the normal distribution. Thereafter, we'll look at the expectation and variance of a random variable, followed by jointly distributed random variables. And finally, the strong law of large numbers and the central limit theorem. So we have a lot to look forward to. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Thanks.